What's up guys, so I'm gonna be doing my reaction and review on Attack on Titan slash Shingenki no Kyojin Chapter 54 Now, we all know that 55 is out already But I felt for my viewers um, It would be entertaining to review 54 Since I hadn't done that yet um, Honestly, there's this chapter went very very quick for me There's only a few uh, key points that I want to make uh, Reference the first is the deal struck with the three agreements um, by Levy by the way Levy in my opinion is has always been one of my favorite characters Maybe I'll do a, a discussion on that at another time, but um, I felt that contract was very weird because the first two points were pretty much um, have an alliance with me and in my opinion that's like Not really like just by shaking on it doesn't really mean much like they can very easily backstab levy and the the squadron if the time comes um and then the last agreement with the like the food and the luxury items personally it didn't really make any sense for me because i felt that it was just like i mean it was greedy it was uncharacteristic of levy and the survey corps survey core core corpse corporation um and i didn't i the only explanation the only logical explanation then probably the right explanation is that it's some guys like he probably doesn't really care for the luxury items he has some ulterior motive or there's something behind these items that w will give them some sort of advantage um or maybe he just put on that third condition to make it seem more um, realistic f for this to go through. Because if he hadn't put this thing, uh, there might be questions like, what's going on? What are his motives? Or is is he just a greedy pig who wants luxury items and um, more stuff like that? So I guess it employs that sort of... Um, that veil whether it's real or not that the veil of um greed like the the survey corp squadron is just another greedy squadron that's also corrupt and wants luxury items so levy may have i mean levy is ridiculously smart as you can tell by this um uh baited out kidnapping that was done which i did not expect at all that levy and Irwin are very smart people um i am just very interested to see where this goes because they're very smart and they are battling many odds and they're doing a lot of stuff miracle after miracle sacrificing tons of people for the chance of long-term survival and maybe possibly is saving humanity and yet as more and more progress is made despite all the sacrifices achieved to get that progress it seems like things aren't as simple as it seems it's not like good guys bad guys and it's very clear now that the innermost layer of the of humanity is either corrupt or playing a part along with the titans and so it all seems to be this giant machinery system working together and so um, the, my final point is there's that thing regarding the beginning of the series of this chapter where it was literally like um, you see uh, some titans right I mean no 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 you see a dream and then both Aaron and Historia uh, reference how they always have dreams that they forget in my opinion these are just i i feel like they are potentially um very strange occurrences that both are from the same source there's a theory going on that i believe in which is that aaron's dad injected him with some sort of um serum to make him forget stuff in fact there was a flashback at least in the anime that pretty much supported this to the T. It was literally pretty much like um, 
uh, the dad saying, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to inject you. You're going to forget all this. And so um, you see that again. And then you see um, Aaron as a Titan form almost start weeping when he remembers small flashbacks of his dad in Titan form. So I think both of them were subjected to this um, memory relapse. And I'm very curious to see where it goes from here. Um, let me know in the comments what your thoughts theories or predictions are um, I it's very curious now because it's not so simple as good guys and bad guys anymore in fact um, my whole theory behind it is that uh, the innermost sanctum they are they're probably the ones who are making the Titans and um, behind this whole thing because they the I, I mentioned this before but they want to give the false assumption that the enemy is the titans so that the humans won't fight amongst themselves with religion or war or expand and continue continue to grow this may be like a futuristic utopia thing where it's like human the humans got overly populated and so they set up this system to sort of stupefy all the population into thinking that they can't keep growing and exploring the lands because of the titans and it seems like it all makes sense my theory because there's been evidence now that the humans they can literally turn a whole section of the village from humans into titans and then make them stupid and so forth and then there's Aaron who has this ability uh, which the other girl had before which was to command the titans and tell them what to do and there's like different classes of titans and it all makes sense it's like the commanding ability is bestowed upon one person so that they can command the the lower class dumb titans to do whatever you want and so um it all comes back down to that one thing mentioned by the boss of the survey cor corpse squadron the bald old guy who I think he's a good guy. I think he's good. He doesn't know what's going on either. But he does mention a myth of old times where, um, you know, he, he talks to Aaron about it. He's like, long ago, there's a myth that the central government invented a problem so that humanity would stop fighting amongst themselves about religion and other things and unite together. And so... I feel like that was a foreshadowing event as well as a spoiler event. I think the author gave away too much there and that could just be the complete explanation of the plot. You heard it from me first. Um, that could be the whole explanation. Um, to someone who's smart enough to pick that up and use that theory and expand upon it, I think that is possibly the reason. Now we'll see if this guy, maybe he. it's not just naive he, he's not just being naive and mentioning that maybe he knows exactly what's going on and that's what's going on like that could be what's going on and he told Aaron there because he he was behind it which means that like like he could have done a lot of things to stop Aaron or capture Aaron so because he hasn't I feel like he's on the good guy side as well We'll see because the start of chapter 55 is when he starts, when is uh, when Irwin is talking to this old guy, commander of the um, survey corps. So we'll see what happens. They've definitely turned to overthrow the government because these guys are, they're good people. They want to free humanity of the Titans and they don't know what's going on. They realize that the government's corrupt now. So, um... They've realized that the government have, has taken all these actions to sort of stop the survey corps, even employing human slash titan creatures. It's funny because it seems like the government is torturing. Um, remember that girl who uh, was a human slash titan who was uh, who turned herself into diamond. Somehow, maybe they thaw the diamond or something, but apparently they're torturing her. So that doesn't really make sense if they're all in cahoots. But I'm sure a certain part of the government. The inner government sent that girl out to capture Aaron, or or they're just completely different. And my theory is completely crap. And 
the human titans are part of some like titan tribe um out in the distance and it's not related but uh that whole thing with the wall being made of titans i mean i feel like that completely f supports my theory because i mean if the wall is made of titans most likely what happened was they directed the titans to line up form a wall and then they built something around them and they said like go to sleep titans and um the titans went to sleep and so um that's why they didn't want sunlight to go on them again because that would uh, awaken the titans and destroy the wall and so um it supports the whole theory that since the inception of the towns um the titans were made by the humans or the inner government so that's my theory uh I'll see you guys later in my next video.